Hello there guys and welcome to the road to glory, zero to hero. What a massive episode this is. As you can see, I finally won 100 for Champions Games on the road to glory, which is very, very awesome. And with that being said, we actually do get ourselves a free 50k pack. And yes, it will be a free actual walkout pack. You're going to see what I do pack very shortly and a lot of today, guys, it's going to be about the freaking servers. I've got a lot of info, inside info from the guys on Reddit about the issues with the servers. Also, icon swaps and Barbu, there's so much to get into. But first thing first, thing first we do get Savigny. Do you guys remember this amazing team of the season card from the last FIFA? It was so, so special. Now, here is the free walkout pack. It was incredible. This 50k pack was absolutely brilliant. And I didn't expect a walkout, just didn't, but it's Italian. I thought it could be Benucci, it could be someone like Cialini, but no, it was Insigne. What a fantastic pack. And I've used him briefly in foot draft as he gets prepared to do a golf swing on the first tee of the FIFA 20 animation. And as you can see, he absolutely bangs it. Still looking over there for some reason for the ball, but still, great pack right there. And this is not the only really good pack I did get and again we keep getting amazing free packs from this game so it's really really cool so Insigne, Giroud, we get Lucas Vasquez there now this was my team in the last weekend league this isn't actually this weekend league guys for the first time I've kind of kept a similar squad so that's why I didn't see like a new squad builder this week but I'm going to build a brand new team as I am building my coins up right now i've learned some new training methods to get myself to hopefully a million coins within a few weeks i'm really trying hard to guys for this series by the way if you're new to the channel be sure to leave a like and subscribe let's go so this guy's team was a very nice team i believe this is the first game of the weekend league from the last weekend league and this was actually my best weekend league in years in terms of the first 14 games i do believe we did amazing so i'm gonna show you how i was playing now the servers man everyone has been talking about it even michi bachawai mendy from man city have all been tweeting at ea sports fifa saying guys like why is our game so laggy and delayed it's unplayable now to me when footballers start tweeting about a fifa issue that's when ea are like Okay, hold up, let's fix this. So at least we have a chance now, guys, of the servers being fixed because in this weekend league, today's the date of the 17th of November. It has to go down as one of the worst server weekend leagues ever. But as you can see, Bobby Firmino passed there to Felipe Anderson. Lovely patient build-up play. And then we get the goal. That's one of my favorite goals of recent times. And in this game, guys, you've got to be so patient no matter the gameplay. It does really frustrate me, though, the fact that all I want is the gameplay speed that we get in foot draft most, most of the time when it's crisp, when it's fast. When you are pressing X to pass the ball and it doesn't register, you know something's up, right? So in the second game, again, brilliant team there with Griezmann, Neymar. This guy could 100% play football on FIFA and just really was a tough player to break down. But in the first three minutes, we get off to a great start there with Griezmann. Also, guys, when the gameplay is slower, I've learned to make sure to use the power bar to a bigger extent. For example, if I'm if, if I'm on the fast gameplay, you guys know by now, fast, fast, slow gameplay. If it's fast gameplay, you don't really need to, like, hammer the power bar too much. But when it's slow gameplay, it reminds me of, like, FIFA 19 kind of shooting system where you've got to really just, just smash the power button when it's slow but this was actually a nice bit of play here again Dembele with the goal there in the end and we get off to a very good start there guys in foot champions now while this video is live I will be streaming my road to glory foot champions I haven't played any games yet it's Sunday I'm streaming from six probably until like 11 so we're gonna hopefully go for hopefully gold three and hopefully start flawless we'll see how we do but I've been playing with the 30 million coin team, guys, to make you aware on my man Chipmunk's account because, I mean, it's it's an insane team and he wasn't really going to play weekly too much. And the icons 
have not even felt like icons. The fact I'm 24, as in 20 wins, 4 losses with the delay, is a miracle. On, I don't know how I've done it, but we are doing well on that account as well. But I do love the road to glory, guys. Like I, I love the competitiveness I get when I play for champions. And it's just, I don't know, I feel like it's ingrained in me. I always want to do as well as I can for you guys. And obviously, this is like a free... Oh yeah, it's a free road to glory. No FIFA points at all. I want to see how many coins we can get. But now it's time to push on. I feel like we really need to. So, the big question for you guys is, though, towards the end of, well, actually, the next few clips, is icon swaps. I'm not sure what to do for icon swaps. Do I get Roy Keane? I mean, it's going to take me 57 wins to get an icon. It is a bit too much, in my opinion, and especially a lot of his rivals. Um, but we'll get to that, like, in a few seconds. But anyway, Jamie Vardy, SBC, is still, like, 20k to do. I had to go and do that, guys, because he'll be a really useful super sub to bring on. And Marky Moments was also completed there. But back to the icon swaps, I feel like if it was... 30 wins, it would be so much better, but the fact that it's rival wins, can you imagine how many rival points, guys, I'm going to get this week? I didn't really want to grind it this week. I wanted to space things out a bit more, focus on other things, and this week, I will focus on Icon Swap, so we've got that to come. Now, we do get another walkout pack. This was, in my opinion, my best pack on the Road to Glory this week. You look at that and think, oh, surely... You've got better packs than that. Surely Insigne was better. But how about this? Two walkouts in one pack there, guys, is fantastic. Di Maria, um, 86 rated. And I think he goes for like 15 to 17k. And Tammy Abraham. So very nice pack right there. And also, I just realized if I kept that card for like another, another two days, that card could have been like maybe 25, 30k because of the team of the week requirement SBC. So Di Maria went on the market as well, guys. And again, I've seen loads of people tweeting me like, Matt, what do I do with my squad? And so many of you guys have Di Maria. He's not very good in this game. I've got to tell you, just really inconsistent. Um, and obviously his skill moves are very smooth. They're very, very good. It's weird. Some five-star skills in this game don't feel anywhere near as good as the likes of even Di Maria doing skills, Neymar doing skills, and Mbappe. I've been using on Ronaldo, and his skill moves have felt so clunky to use. I don't know what it is, but yeah, don't get Di Maria is my best advice. Also, you may have seen my 86 plus foot champions upgrade pack. That was kind of a road to glory episode, so that ties into this, guys. I did get rid of all of my red player pick players for Wijnaldum. I had the choice between Wijnaldum and Andy Robertson. I just thought, you know what? Wijnaldum could potentially, down the line, help the road to glory more. Come team of the year time, I'm still going to be using players like Wijnaldum. Hopefully, some very good goalkeepers like De Stegen. Screen PK is a fantastic SBC card. I really like his card a lot. And it goes to show, man, like, you can build this team from nothing. I literally had no pre-order packs on this account. Nothing. Absolutely zero points, zero coins, zero packs. And now we're here, just from grinding, so... It's very fun doing a Road to Glory. And also, that is now the updated team. Again, I didn't really want to do a new squad builder. I know you guys have been loving those on, as videos on the channel on the Road to Glory. But it wasn't the week for it. I just wanted to keep doing, keep using this team. However, we will sell a lot of these players. But Griezmann, man. My God, Griezmann is very good in this game. He's so unique the way he finishes goals as well. So, on to the icon swaps. Now, I may get these squad battles done. Hopefully... Today, maybe for squad battle rewards, I may try and get them done quite fast. It's all these though. Like, I, I've guys, I didn't tell you. If I go onto my ultimate team right now at the same time as you're watching that, I think, am I in division two? I think I inadvertently, like, uh, inadvertently, guys. Yeah, I'm seven points off division two. If I win one rivals game, I'm in division two. So clearly, I'm going to make it harder for myself. A lot of people have been relegating themselves, but it's just. That's just not for me, personally. I'm not that kind of person. I want to actually win. So, yeah. Anyway, Ian Wright, Rio Ferdinand, Roy Keane are the three icons I want you to choose from. Who the hell do I pick? They all look amazing. I think Roy Keane or Ferdinand's personally winning. Um, a lot of people have been using Ian Wright as well. 
Anyway, time to get into something very interesting to do with the servers. This guy seems to be doing a lot of research as to why the lag compensation is apparently killing the game and the community needs to speak up. So, I didn't read it to post this. I work in game development before and my field is networking. I'm a foot addict like most of you. English is not my first language and this is gonna be a long read. So, he started playing foot three years ago and ever since I did all I could to find out a solution on my end for the input delay. There's a lot to go through here, guys. But nothing worked. Some games are smooth, some are slightly delayed, and most are unplayable. I started digging last year, but on this post, I'm going to focus on this year's. EA servers and netcode. This season, they added new servers in my region, Europe. They are located in France and hosted by Amazon. There is also Amazon servers they're using in Germany and LED servers in Holland. Few servers in Ireland run by Bioware as well. In my test, the Amazon servers in France have been very bad uh, for routing all connections going through Italy. Once they reach Amazon Backbone and Palermo, the packets go all around Europe up. Um, and it goes to show like, when we have to do this kind of research, clearly there's a big issue going on. Like we are all getting ridiculous input delay in the game. Um, so there is two possible solutions for this issue and have no idea why EA is not looking at implementing one of the both. So, obvious solution um, is to revert the maximum buffer time allowed to resend data in case of error to the same amount to match the smoothness um, of an offline game and punish people with unfit connection to play online. Implement an in-game lo logo to display in case the player connection is having packet drop issues and higher jitter, like the system they use in Battlefield games. Solution two is to group players with bad internet together, let them play together, let the people playing on long distance Wi-Fi, your unstable 3G slash 4G, hotspots and overcrowded routers, play against each other, so when there is lag compensation applied, they both suffer from the same effects. Instead of punishing people playing on proper connections, PES have done this PES have done this, this year, allowing players to search for optimal connection and smooth gameplay. It gave players the option to opt out of playing against Wi-Fi and 4G players. The technology is there and not really hard to implement. I have no idea why EA are not looking into this further. The community needs to stand together and demand a solution. The servers are fine. They even cut contracts with many of providers that had bad setups and connectivity issues. The real problem is lag compensation. It's need to, it needs to be abandoned or toned down and give people the right kind of connection. Like This is like amazing to read. Like if you have any kind of uh, background in internet, like data in terms of lag compensation, if you maybe work for like a broadband company, whatever, wherever you're on the world, then let me know in the comments if you agree with all this. It does sound very accurate. Um, another finding is that the game not only compensates for latency, but also for bad connectivity. The maximum buffer time allowed in the game to resend data is in case of an error is too high in an effort to make people with an unstable internet not suffer a lot of speed up lag. I've read the pitch notes from EA about this issue from July in FIFA 19. They actually lowered the maximum buffer time allowed to resend data in case of an error last summer for four days, but they were hammered by people complaining about it, about it speed up lag and finally reverted the changes. In this case, they saw the problem from potential profits point of view. Less people are able to play online is less profits for them. More people are able to play even with delayed gameplay is much um, the issue there. And you guys hopefully read the other bit there, you can rewind it. But like for me, the servers are a gigantic issue which have to be addressed. I've said it, I was watching A9 Skills Twitch stream last night and he was saying the exact same thing as I was. I said it for a long time. There's a few of us, man. We've said it for so long. We believe that the higher ups at EA clearly see the profits every year with an ultimate team. They don't want to invest as much into the servers because they probably think it's fine. I don't think a lot of the higher ups within EA actually play FIFA Ultimate Team. They don't play Weekend League. They don't go what we go through with the server issues. If FIFA, if Foot Champions was the speed of Foot Draft, I would never have to speak up on behalf of us and tell EA in person, tell EA on Twitter, tell EA anywhere that there's an issue with connection, there's an issue with gameplay, right? We wouldn't need to as much. So please fix the servers, EA. We all want them to be fixed. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this massive video. Leave a like if you agree with all these issues. What's your biggest issue with FIFA 20? And I'll see you guys later.